Right, today we've come over to Anglesey to uh, Chandwin Island. Uh, but unfortunately the tide's coming in and I can't get over. Uh, so probably gonna have to hang around till I can get over to the island for a bit. But where I am now, I'm just looking for a few compositions around here. Uh, what a pain in the ass. Right, what I've got on this uh, composition is I've got the rocks here in the foreground and I've got these rocks here on each side of the frame. Uh, with this composition I've uh, put a 9 soft grad just to darken the uh, clouds and the sky. Uh, I put a 10 stop filter uh, and put in this cloth here just to stop any light leaking through the side. So yep, I'm at F11, ISO 100, and I'm going for a 25 second exposure. And I'm joined today with Rowena. So hopefully, later on we'll be able to get onto the island and get some images there. But in the meantime, I'm just looking for images around here. waiting for a bit of sun to hit the so I can have light coming in the background uh, thinking of a black and white image with this f11 ISO 100 uh, 140th of a second and bracking to each side come up here now uh, so I can look down on that old churchy thing I, I, th I think it's a church or something I'm not quite sure but from here I'm looking down at it and I saw it in the frame you can see it here on the gap you can see the uh, uh, the weird kind of crossy thing that's in the shot and you've got some nice dark clouds in the back there of this uh, church so with this I'm at uh, F11, ISO 100, 1 60th of a second. And with this, I'm gonna bracket uh, your normal exposure and probably two each end.
I've come up here to this end now. This is your classic view of the uh, Tour Mor lighthouse uh, that everybody takes. Uh, so I'm going to take one shot here. I'm going to do one in landscape and one in portrait style. Um, I've got some nice moody clouds in the background. What I like, what's happening here, what is what I like. A lot of sunbursts coming through the clouds there, so it looks good. So I'm trying to capture that in the distance. Uh, and by capturing the sunburst, I'm going to have to bracket, bracket so I can see them rays of light. Uh, I'm going out F11, I'm at ISO 100, and at 200th of a second. With this also, I'm going to take your normal exposure and I'm going to bracket to each side, just so I can capture the rays of sun that you see in the background. Right with this, I've come down low um, so I can get a nice view of the uh, lighthouse from this angle. Um, it's a different type of view than normal. Um, so I've got three posts that are in front of me. So I'm going to use them three posts as the foreground interest. And then you can see the lighthouse in the, well, it's not a lighthouse, but you know, you can see two or more in the distance. With this, I'm going to go at ISO 100, F11, uh, 1 25th of a second, and again, I'm going to bracket to each end. Right, what I've got here is the row of pilot cottages on the island. Um, what I want to do with this uh, is all this nice grass in front, and I want it to be light. And just behind the cottage in the sky, the clouds are really dark, so I'm going to put a, what I'll do is I'm going to put a soft grad uh, to really darken the sky black, so I've got the sort of contrast between the light that is on this grassy thing and the darkness and the cottages will just stand out white so that's what I'm trying to get with this image
Right, with this shot, uh, I've got all these old dead tree stumps right in the foreground here. And just beyond that, you can see this, well, kind of pathway with all this bushy stuff. And I've got a lot of light hitting it, which looks pretty good. Uh, and then you've got all these old dead trees, which look pretty weird, and Snowden in the background. So with this shot, I'm at f11, 1 60th of a second, ISO 100, and bracketing to each end. So that's it from uh, Handwin Island. Uh, got a few shots in the bag, different types. Uh, so yeah, so until next time, thanks for watching and bye.